हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू द सभी मरी पॉडकास्ट एंड आज हमारे साथ एक बहुत ही खास मेहमान आए हैं ही इज अ सोशल मीडिया इन्फ्लुएंसर ही इज एन इंस्टाग्राम सेलिब्रिटी और आज हम इनसे बड़े मजे मजे की बातें करेंगे प्लीज वेलकम द वन एंड ओनली जहांगीर खान आल्सो नोन एज जेके हेलो जेके वेलकम टू द शो थैंक यू सो मच मैं थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी इट्स अ प्लेजर हैविंग यू इट्स अ प्लेजर हैविंग न्यू पीपल टॉकिंग अबाउट न्यू न्यू सब्जेक्ट्स यस ऑफ कोर्स इट्स अ प्लेजर आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड so i just maine aapko ek brief introduction diya why don't you tell us who is jahangir khan jk <laughs> so um basically um, my name is jahangir khan and my blog name is khan diaries so i'm on the platform instagram for over 6 years now and i've been a prominent figure for last 5 years so since i'm in malaysia and all that stuff where i've been an ambassador for pakistan and this entire journey i'll only tell you when you ask me the questions so oh, i'm sorry <laughs> i forgot to mention he we were all uh, friends back in lim kopping university malaysia yes so That's, i wanted him to mention that <laughs> <laughs> i forgot to mention that in the introduction yeah. so how did you decide to become tell us your story how did you decide to become an, an influencer like just it started randomly ya phir you were can i maine social media se logo ko influence karna hai okay it's i mean you don't decide i think now it's a fashion everyone's influencer blogger you pick a rock and there's a blogger and there's an influencer <laughs> but back 6 years ago there was nothing like influencer or a blogger or anything like that there was only writing blogs But Instagram, uh, for me, how it started was how I became an ambassador for Pakistan. You know the journey. Um, we are represented Pakistan on different platforms. Uh, High Commission of Pak for High Commission Pakistan for Kashmir issues, or uh, and different issues. We worked for UNICEF officially as well. We worked for Typhoon in in Philippines and this and that. And I started putting it out on my social media. But I was already known in the university. uh before the social media thing so when i started posting about it on my social media i started getting a lot of hits i started a lot of um followers and likes and then um the unique selling point of me was when people saw i'm not some typical um what people have imagined dog dick and hairy <laughs> yes what people have imagined how someone to be you know the same person as anyone else i i live in my own terms i have my unique ways of living and i think that's also my selling point and hence i'm relevant till now because i'm completely myself and if you like me you like me don't like me it's okay so yeah. okay first why don't you tell who is a blogger what is a blogger what is this term blogger what do they do so uh, organically blogger basically you blog blog is when you you post something in 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 my interpretation of this is basically uh when you sharing out your life say you being organic you reach out to people who can connect with you uh, on your own level um have the same probably background the same kind of interest you know you build your niche is what you put out and that's what's blogging you're putting out a chunk of your life depending what chunk it is yeah all right so what do you think how important is social media in 2020 what is the importance it's very important as you know uh um unfortunately covid has struck us and all the tr- traditional businesses are going for e-commerce and social media marketing and that's where people like me and you come on board where we can make a lot of money and uh, a lot of opportunities uh, for social media is very important for both ends for brands if they want to come out from the traditional um set which is they don't they don't have e-commerce they don't have um online setups and everything uh, that's to to the only way to survive is having an online presence which also means social media or your websites which is all under one umbrella so yeah so it's very very important it's we all know that we all the brands are moving towards so internet so these days influencer mar- marketing has taken a huge boom like uh, brands are reaching out influencers yeah. to market their products of course of course i mean um you need micro bloggers so we are considered as micro bloggers or as people say um, the tiny itsy bit celebrities who have some kind of influence and uh, honestly probably a lot of uh, the population they cannot relate with big celebrities people when celebrities post people know it's paid but when we post it, it's more organic we cuz um different influencers they have their own different niche of audience that they trust so the audience know that this person is only posting it because uh, this person actually likes the brand or the Cares product right so this is how we are uh, very important because the audience sees it and they connect with it with the influencer and then the brand 
So yeah, we are more important than probably the traditional celebrities that we have right now. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So I want to ask you, how can somebody, a layman, can sell themselves on social media? That means if somebody, he doesn't, he's not selling any sports goods, he's not selling any clothing, he's not selling any anything. Yeah. He wants to sell himself. How to do that? Basically, you just indirectly attack me because that's influencers. You know, that's <laughs> we have to sell ourselves. Um, it, it is true. You have to sell yourself, um, I, but it depends on what price you're putting out for yourself and and how to what extent you're going. So um, I really I feel like I think you just uh, the only point I in in my knowledge is you be yourself. And hence, you're going to attract people who are connecting to, to the real you, right? And I think that's how you're going to sell yourself when you have people who will buy you or buy through you because they connect with you. Yeah. So how can you find your niche? How, how do you... I mean... How do you know which market is you're going to target? Oh, uh, I'm... I might not be good at this because my hands are everywhere. Uh, there's fashion, it's lifestyle, it, lifestyle includes everything, right? Or I'm, I'm an activist too, so I raise my voice for a lot of causes as well, so I'm everywhere. Um, but that's where it becomes a bit tricky uh, for someone like me because uh, when you raise your voice for causes, you are deemed controversial. And person who's controversial can face a lot of issues. People point so, fingers at you. Yes, so people and brands are like they don't, you know, they don't. They're like, oh, we don't want to deal with this. Um, but I think if you have a voice, if you have influence, you should use it for some causes as well, which are close to you, and for humanity in general, whatever you can do. So I feel like when you're asking me about niche, I'm the bad guy in this in this uh, example no, because this room, my hand, yeah, you are the only good guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my my hands are everywhere. I'm doing everything. So yes, I do have a specific niche audience. The audience that I know, who are they, what are they, and wh wh what is their background, whatever they are, right? Uh, but if you ask about my niche, um, I am everywhere. I am everywhere, which is which I like. Simple as that. Yeah. So, is it possible that? Can we make a living as an influencer? Uh, like what do you mean? Like complete, like... Uh, oh, okay. Mean, yeah, make oh, okay. a living out of it. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, these TikTokers, they make more money than anyone right now. They charge a lot of money and uh, because of a lot of hits and views and everything. Um, blogging in general can make you earn, but depends where you're doing it, what you're doing. YouTubers make good amount of money. Okay, uh, like, uh, like a blogger, is it more of a side hustle or it can become your source of income? If you are income? coming uh, with the intention of source of income, then I think you should not be coming in this field. Um, really? it is, yeah, of course. I mean, you, you need to know that you are influencing. You're not being paid by someone to being an influencer. And the only reason you can influence is when you connect with the people. If you're coming f with, f with the intention of getting money out of it, um, you might succeed in a shorter, but in the longer run, you're gonna uh, collapse because people are like, oh, I, we don't connect with them. This person is just faking it for money, and um, I think that's a very bad intention. I still don't have this intention, though. I wanna, of course, coming after six, seven years, I do wanna make money out of it because I know I'm helping brands out. I know I'm making sales. So after sometimes you do have that plan and everything, but that should not be your intention to make money out of it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very important point. All right. Anything else that you would like to mention? Um, if you talk, because the topic is influencer marketing, the only thing I'll mention is that um, it is very important for the businesses right now to approach the right influencer, the right kind of people to promote it micro bloggers um, like us, YouTubers, TikTokers, and um, yeah, I think these three main platforms um, are the people right now to be approached uh, for to promote your business. And uh, one thing for the influencers and bloggers, um, you pick a rock as a blogger. So how do you differentiate yourself? How do you create a unique identity for yourself is you need to think through who are you. First, just need to believe in yourself, believe in God, yourself, and I think destiny, a lot of struggle, 
um, when you are completely yourself, there will be some hate, there will be some, you know, you might not be accepted in a lot of ways, uh, but that's totally fine. It's totally fine. You're going to find your niche. I found my niche and um, I'm really happy about it. Yeah. Really deep conversation. That yeah. It's really Thank you. thoughtful. Really appreciate JK. Thank you. Here. Thank you, Madhi, for having me for your no, podcast. No worries. Guys. I hope you like this episode. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you, if you haven't already, make sure you uh, follow, me. <laughs> follow him and check out his Instagram. Yeah. We'll see you again in another podcast. Tab tak ke liye, Allah Allah. Thank you.